Psalm 133, a blessing of unity among God's people. It reads, Behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. It is like the precious oil upon the head, running down on the beard, the beard of Aaron, running down on the edge of his garments. It is like the dew of Hermon, descending upon the mountains of Zion, for there the Lord commanded the blessing, life forevermore. Lord, we thank you that you're reminding us today about cultivating an atmosphere of unity. Lord, keeping the body of Christ unified, keeping our families unified, keeping our friendships unified. Lord, you're talking to us about walking in unity, walking in the spirit of unity, Lord, which means making an effort to get on with others, making an effort to ensure that everybody is included and feels part of. Lord, we just pray, Lord, that you would show us how to cultivate that atmosphere, how to be ones that unify an environment and unify a group. Lord, help us not to be those who are divisive, who like to separate who like to push others aside, Lord, to make ourselves feel better. Lord, help us to have your character, have your nature, behave in a way that you would deem to be acceptable, Lord God. Lord, where we've fallen into bad habits, Lord, where we have created silos because it made us feel more comfortable. Lord, I pray today that you would tear down every small-mindedness, Lord God, every racist lord god every divisive lord every genderist behavior lord that separates people and keeps us in different areas because of our differences lord we thank you lord that you are a god that has made us unique and individual but lord that uniqueness and individuality is to be celebrated not to be used as a way to keep ourselves away from others lord where we have fallen into that lord we repent today lord we say lord would you help us would you help us to see every single person as you see them lord as you said there is neither jew nor greek slave nor free male nor female for you are all one in christ jesus lord we thank you that you speak that in galatians 3 28 and lord help us to really meditate on that lord that there is neither jew nor greek nor slave nor free male nor female for you are all one in christ jesus lord where we have put up boundaries barriers where we have been hurt by different people and have therefore tried to erect barriers to keep ourselves safe lord i pray today lord that you would tear down every barrier every limitation of the mind every wrong mindset Lord, it may be generational. We may have inherited a certain behavior from those who've gone before. But Lord, we thank you, Lord, that we are your new children. We are one in Christ, Lord God. And you're calling us, Lord, to let go. Let go of disunity. Let go of barriers and boundaries. Let go of thought processes that are just not from you. Let go of the idea of limiting others because we don't think that they're good enough Lord God Lord we just pray that for everybody who has suffered at the hands of others Lord who have not enjoyed unity who have not enjoyed justice in their own situations Lord that you'd soften their hearts Lord you'd help them to forgive their perpetrators Lord and to move to a new understanding of what you're able to do when you heal our hearts, Lord God. Lord, you're able to heal us so deeply, Lord, that we're able to now even embrace our perpetrators, Lord God, just like Jesus did. Forgive them, for they know not what they do. Wow, Lord. Lord, help us to get to that place where we can forgive those and say, forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. Lord, teach us. Teach us how to be unified. Lord, this is something that is so important so prominent but yet so rarely practiced all over society we see silos we see different groups of people all separated all doing their own thing and lord this is even in the body of christ lord so today lord we just pray that you would help us to change our mindsets 
you would help us, Lord. You'd do a deep work in our minds, even as we're praying, Lord, where we think it's not possible, Lord. Would you stir our hearts to love like you love, Lord God? Would we love every single person as you love them? Would we see every single person as you see them, Lord God? Lord, would you help us, Lord? As you said, unity is pleasant, Lord. Unity is what we should desire. Unity commands the blessing. And Lord, we certainly need the blessing. Unity commands the blessing and it gives life. Help us to be life givers today. Lord, help our actions, our behavior, our unity to command the blessing and give forth life in all our situations. In Jesus' name I've prayed, amen.